Welcome back to Wiseman Company, everyone. Ben Brown here today, and this is a video I have put a lot of effort into, very excited about. I am going to give you six chest rig options. I thought about making six different videos, but after thinking about it, this needs to be all one video, one comprehensive buyer's guide. And to make it all one video, we're going to have to hustle through this material so it doesn't turn into a nut and fancy video. I love chest rigs. I would buy a chest rig, if you're new to the game, I would buy a chest rig before I bought a battle belt or a plate carrier. For some of you out there, you, you disagree. Everyone thinks, you know, battle belt's your first line. You should definitely have a battle belt. I disagree. You can get a lot done with chest rigs these days. There's a lot of options. They're very comfortable. You can outfit them in all sorts of ways. As just a normal citizen, I think a chest rig is gonna go a lot further for, with your money than going with a battle belt first or a plate carrier. I'm not saying that you shouldn't get those two other items, the belt or the plate carrier. I would prior, I'm just saying I would prioritize the chest rig. I'm gonna be doing this video standing. Hope that doesn't make you guys uncomfortable because I wanna wear each rig kind of show you while I'm talking so you can get a better look at it. I, obviously there will be B-roll of me using it, but I figured wearing it while I do my yapping would be more conducive for the learning process. Let's start with the first one. First up is the Invert Bandolier from IC13. I have a full review already on the channel with the Invert. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on it. This is a great chest rig because it is fast, it's minimalist, it is very comfortable to wear. As you can see, there's not a ton going on with it. it again, it's minimalist. I have this stripped down right now, no pouches on it because I'm reconfiguring it, um, but you get the idea. Pouches go here, uh, mags can go upside down or right side up, most people run them upside down and the retention is good enough, but this is conducive for very fast reloads. You can reload out of the invert very quickly. One downside is it can't hold a ton of gear. They do make a revolver pack for the back of it, which is kind of like a little auxiliary pack for this. Uh, but if you're just getting the invert, it's not going to hold a ton. And some, for some of you, you don't need to hold a lot of stuff. This is going to be more than enough. So you could hold two AR mags, a pistol mag, some med, and maybe like a little auxiliary pouch for like a multi-tool flashlight, that sort of thing. Uh, very quick to get on, just throw it over your head, use the rapid strap or your clip, and you're, you're in business. You don't even need to use this third strap if you want to. You can run it just like a traditional bandolier, and then it's even faster. So, Invert Bandolier from IC13, great option, comes in a number of colors. Next up, the tried and true Spiritus Microfight. I've had this one the longest, I've used this all over the country, a lot of classes, and it's still holding up great. Spiritus makes good stuff. This one right here, as you can see, has some additions onto it. We'll get into that in a little bit. Full review just on this micro fight on the YouTube channel as well. So if you want to just see a more in-depth uh, review on this, I have a video on it. Uh, again, I've been using this one for a long, long time, and it's more of your traditional chest rig. Thing about things about chest rigs while traditional chest rigs while I'm here. I prefer an H harness. I hate X harnesses. They are just uncomfortable. I don't know why people still do X harnesses. And one school of thought about X harnesses and H harnesses, my my buddy Eric brought up is X harnesses are are uncomfortable when the two connecting points here are close together, and that that makes sense. Um, and with a lot of these micro chest rigs, the connecting points are close together. They're not spread out. Uh, when they, when you wear an X harness on a micro with the connecting points close together, the, the straps cut into your neck and they rub your back. H harnesses distribute the weight a little bit better, sit on your shoulders nice and evenly. This is why you can see they have the H right there. It just, it's just way more comfortable. More comfortable. For me. And again, a lot of this is gonna be personal preference. But for my body type, I'll take an H harness any day of the week over an X harness. 
Spiritus Microphyte. You can get this in a number of different colors and they have a number of different ways you can outfit them. Spiritus System does their website a la carte, so you kind of have to pick and build pieces of your chest rig. You're not just going to click on a chest rig, add it to your cart. You got to add all the pieces together um, so you can kind of customize, tailor fit your exact layout. The additions I have on here are there's some prototypes from Lunar Concepts. There are wings that I can add auxiliary pouches to. This is a, a Wilder Tactical Med Kit. I just added this to the bottom. It uses the Velcro on the back of the Microfight. And I have a radio pouch here on the left-hand side. So I can add to this Microfight or I can take away from it. This is a chest rig that I'll pick if I'm gonna be doing a lot of different things because I need to carry um, a lot of different items. Three mag shingle in here, nothing unique about that. Uh, you can get different inserts, different flaps. All sorts of things, again, to customize your microfight for your needs. More than anything, though, these are going to last a long time. They're well worth the money. They can be hard to find. Inventory across the board on everything these days is difficult. But again, if you find one, the micro, Spiritus Microfights, definitely worth the money. I like these a lot. Next up is the T-Rex Arms Ready Rig. The, when these came out, everybody was super excited about them. Full disclosure, Drew over at T-Rex Arms sent me this one. I'm buddies with him. I've known Drew for a long time. Thank you guys for letting me try this out. Again, this is the T-Rex Arms Ready Rig. It also looks like the harnesses uh, Sam's Club or Costco employees wear in the back when they're doing heavy lifting. Uh, so it blends in that way. There's some things on this one that I'm, I'm really, I like and I really don't like. The rig itself, very concealable. You could hide this under a jacket, no problem. You could hide, hide this under like a button down flannel, very easily, very concealable. Second, it is very stable. Nothing is moving, nothing is going anywhere. It sucks tight to your body. Stuff's not gonna fall out of your pouches. You're not gonna have a yard sale on the range. Did some rope climbing, wall climbs with this thing, ran all around, and uh, it's, it's gonna hug your body. The stuff you put in it isn't going anywhere. Not gonna jostle around on your body. Where with a traditional chest rig, you're gonna get some movement. Cell sizes, the cell sizes, and that would be the pouches on this thing, are kind of unique. The three up front are gonna be your, your M4 AR mag pouches, and then they have smaller cells on the side some different sized cells on the side so you can run a tourniquet, radio, um, some medical, that sort of thing. So it's clever that they kind of made the cells different sizes because they knew you're going to want to run some, some different gear. And some of that gear is pretty standard. Everyone wants to carry a tourniquet, some medical, uh, maybe a pistol, mag, radio. Um, so they've just made those pouch sizes different to hold the gear a little bit better. I did notice that the stitching is coming undone in the cells. I'll try to roll a picture of that in there right now. Uh, I don't know how much this rig has been used prior to me getting it. I can't really attest to it. I didn't use it a ton, but the stitching is coming out. I'm sure if the T-Rex the crew wouldn't let this go out the door with stitching coming undone, they're usually pretty darn good about their quality control. Uh, but I gotta be honest with you guys, the stitching is coming out on it, on one of the cells. As you guys can see, this is an X-Harness and it is incredibly uncomfortable. A lot of this is personal preference, but for me, this thing rubbed my back. The buckles are really close together on it. They kind of rub. Uh, the, the straps dig into my neck. Again, I'm not a big X-Harness fan. I think this could have been done a little bit better. I almost want to snip this harness off and just kind of wear this like a Unity clutch belt. Uh, just because it, it's that un uncomfortable and adjusting it. I've tried adjusting it a million different ways and it, it's just Just digs and bites and binds and it's just not very comfortable worn it for a long period of time And by the end of the day, I couldn't wait to get it off It also is pretty hot. I live in Florida. This is nylon wrapped the whole way around my midsection it does not breathe much at all, holds everything very tight to your body, which you want, but it's very hot. By the time I take this thing off, it's just a big sweat band underneath here. It is just, 
incredibly warm. Again, because this nylon, stretch nylon material doesn't breathe very much and I, and I live in a hot climate. Everything being said about this T-Rex Arms Ready Rig, it is a ready to go chest rig straight out of the box. You order it on their website, unwrap it when you get it and you can start using it right away. No pieces to put together or anything like that. You just adjust it to your size and put it on, fill it up. So it is a rig that is ready to go. If you do know someone that has a right rig, I'd still highly recommend trying it out. See if you can borrow it to see if it, it works for you because it does do some things well. And again, it is a rig ready to go right out of the box. But again, a lot of this stuff is personal preference. For me, it's just a little uncomfortable. This next one I like to call a sleeper. This is a great option for a chest rig if you're just a normal dude. Hill People Gear Runner's Kit Bag. I have a full review on the Snubby Kit you want to go check that out this is a larger version of that this is the runner's kit bag this is the one I keep in my car keep in my bag my uh, backpack it is a great again a great option if you're just a normal dude because if you put this on and you just walk around outside you're just gonna look like a nerdy dad or a, a hiker of some sort no one's gonna think wow that guy's got a full-blown chest rig on he's probably gonna go shoot up a Walmart right this no one wants that this has the ability to hold a lot of essentials all on the inside. You got to kind of just get creative on how you hold stuff in there though. Let's we'll start with the front pouch. Front pouch is a full blown medical kit and I mean full blown. I got chest seals in here, uh, tourniquets, uh, gauze, gloves. You can fit a lot of stuff up front here in this pouch. It lays flat, zip it up med kit med all all up front little blowout kit nice good to go right in the big pouch you obviously can't have 30 round mags sticking out of this thing i mean you could but that kind of defeats the purpose i just put 20s in here it's a little slow to reload from but you could hold four 20 round mags in here no problem i chose to hold two 20 rounders a smoke 17 round glock mag and a multi-tool all right there at my disposal again a little bit slow to, slow to reload from the important part is you can hold all this stuff and walk around with it and no one's gonna really no one's gonna care that much I've run some miles with this thing on did some classes with it on very comfortable love the harness this harness is my favorite harness distribute distributes the weight nicely it's mesh in the back so it breathes this harness is, is awesome uh, I love it. I don't have a waistband on this rig, although it does come with one. It comes with a shock cord waistband. The shock cord waistband just kind of keeps this from flopping around, but I don't even use it. It Because of the harness, it holds really nice to your body. Now go check out Hill People Gear's website. They got a lot of different variants on their website. Some a little bit more tactical if that's your speed. They are very well made chest rigs or kit bags. Hill People Gear has been doing uh, nylon for a long time. They're no stranger to quality. Again, this is, this is quickly becoming one of my favorites. It stays with me all the time. Going back to a little bit more of a traditional chest rig, this is the Haley Strategic D3 CRM Micro. Very similar to the Spiritus Micro Fight in uh, the footprint, the size. It is a micro, although I really think they use... they. They used space well on this on this chest rig. Let's get into it a little bit. So, like I said, same kind of footprint. If we're just talking about the the micro uh, chest rig itself as a Spiritus, but they added these auxiliary pouches to the side. It was just kind of space that was being unused, so they added pistol pouches or um, kind of auxiliary pouches to the side. So I put a multi tool on the right hand side and a 24 rounder in the left hand side. Three mag insert across the front. They make other inserts as well. Sub gun inserts, uh, 308 inserts. This is an AR-15 insert, obviously. These inserts are really, really nice because they have Kydex built into them. They kind of click into place, lock the mags into place. Very, very good retention. Holds them nice and neat. Not too much retention where you can't really get it out and you start banging yourself in the face. Uh, but you can tell they kind of just click into into their spot so nice insert for these little micros up front 
auxiliary pouch. You can do medical in here. You can do tools, whatever you want. It does have hook and loop on the inside and some elastic so you can organize things a little bit better if you need to. Zips up nicely, as you can see, so debris and rain isn't getting inside. On the outside, loop panel for all your patches and things like that. This one is in multi-cam arid. You can get this in a bunch of other different colors. Also difficult to find right now, like everything else, you gotta kinda be on their notifications list if you wanna, if you wanna pick one up or buy one on the used market. It did ship with an X harness, terrible. I hate X harnesses. This one digs into my neck, cuts me on the side of my neck, and uh, kinda rubs me in the center of my back. With this micro, there's a lot of integration possible, just like that Spiritus micro fight. On the bottom here, I have a tourniquet dangler from Lunar Concepts. And if you wanted to, you could use this as a placard on the front of a plate carrier. Simply clip these clips into the front of your plate carrier, take the Velcro off the back and stick it to the front and you have all this gear on body armor. You wouldn't, for those of you that don't know, you wouldn't just take this whole rig and wear it over the body armor. You disconnect everything click it in and you're off to the races. So integration, very possible with this. Speaking of integration, taking it a step fur further, let me show you something. Haley also makes a backpack for it. So this backpack will integrate into the back of it. I'm gonna do a standalone review on this backpack because I like it so much. This is now my water bag. Again, we'll get more into this in the future. But it just shows you a lot of the capabilities possible with these Haley Strategic D3 Micro rigs. Very cool, very well made. Haven't had this as long as the Spiritus systems, uh, but so far so good. Everything seems to be holding up as it should. And last but not least, build your own. This is a chest rig I kind of cobbled together from a bunch of different pieces, mainly Spiritus systems, but you could do this with a number of different companies. There's a lot of the good nylon companies out there that I haven't covered. This one is a Spirit of Systems placard, three mag placard, AR-15. You can fit AK mags in them, but it's, it's a little wonky. And their H harness. So typically, I, I used to just use this placard on the front of a plate carrier, clip it in, and then I had three mags on the front. But as of lately, within the last year or two, I started using this placard as a chest rig. It holds enough ammo to teach a class or be in a class. Um, the H harness distributes that weight nicely. The uh, waistband is actually from Hill People Gear. This is their shock cord waistband, clips in. It's not as hot as a typical waistband, it's just shock cord. It has some sponge and give to it, so it kind of flexes with your body, very comfortable. And then underneath here, I have a Lunar Concepts dangler pouch with clips. This is a prototype, this isn't available yet, but I hope he makes it available because it's very, very cool. Um, and it's a med kit. I can unclip it, chuck it to a buddy, clip something else in if I want to, and it kind of just sits right underneath the placard. This is one that I use a lot because it's, it's minimalist, has everything I, everything I need, nothing I don't. Uh, again, you could do this with a number of different companies. Like I said throughout this video, stuff is hard to source right now. So maybe I can find a H harness from Spirit of Systems and a, and a placard from Cry Precision and put them all together and make it work. And I got a chest rig. Uh, you can kind of pick and choose the parts you want that you know you like to get exactly what you need. So um, two more, two more. build your own. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a kind of fun, actually. Uh, you're, it's like Legos for grown men. And in the long run, sometimes you can even save yourself a little bit of money. In there. And everyone loves saving money. So build your own. Like doing that a lot. Guys, I hope this helped. This was a lot of information. Please, please ask questions down below in the comments. I'll try to get to all of them. And again, if you want to see a standalone review on any of the chest rigs that I don't already have a standalone review on, I'd be happy to do it. I just got to know from you down in the comments if you want me to do it. So jump down there, let me know. Also talk with one another. If you know where somebody might be able to find some gear, um, help them out, help them out. The comments is a conversation. It's not just talking at me. Again, a lot of this stuff can be hard to find and some people will say, hey, I've been looking for a Haley rig for three months. Does anyone know where one is? And some guy will be like, yeah, I have one or you can find one over at such and such store. They usually have them in stock. Point is just talk with one another. 
this is a community we're building, good conversation uh, with one another, not just conversation at me. Thank you for watching. Go to wisemencompany.com. A lot of great gear over there for you guys to pick up. That's the best way to support us. My name is Ben. We'll see you on the next video.